getting started if it's your first time you're welcome uh, to your browser preferably chrome i've only tested this in chrome type all stream hub dot com and uh, open that it will bring you to this home page you can just see a few details about about our stream hub yes we shall not do that now but uh, now let's go stream hub.com slash dashboard since that is what we're going to interact with yeah mine is already in dark mode but there are two modes just up here there's a switch you see that but i prefer the dark mode so i'll keep it there now most of the functions are arranged in tabs just at this point you can see the default tab is details and uh, there's another tab for scripture lyrics history that is basically history of scripture and then screens yeah so this is details controlling the screens there's always a default screen for every user if you need to create any there's a default screen for you which can be used in your live streaming software obs in the case of these tutorials and it also has a preview right on the right here on the bottom right and there's a default projector screen on the right too you can see those you can hide them or keep them yeah, so so the links are just here for the default projector link and obvious over the link these links are unique to every user so you have to make sure that is for security purposes so you have to make sure you have the right link and you are assigning to the right account before you can you cannot control if you sign into the wrong account you won't be able to control it and this is the link that you copy and paste into OBS as a browser source. Remember this link, I think for this link it is 1280 by 720. That's the its dimensions, you have to put those on specifically. <coughs> and then this projector link, you just, uh, I'll be showing how to use it shortly. Now this is main, main info. It has only three parameters, the default default link has only three the default obvious link has only three parameters that you can put these ones don't you can't change them but that is where screens come in you can make your own screen so let's go to the scripture tab these are scriptures uh just a few so post genesis one one but i can click here and i just type is there a book let's start with k no <laughs> it's not Let's do a book like Esther. Yeah, then I choose it. So Esther has been completed here. I choose the chapter that I want. And here it comes. You can see it. And you can see all the versions, the major English versions are already input here. So let's go to NIV, for example. I think I like New King James. When you click on it, it shows up on the default projector screen now this is exactly what would show up if you had copied this link and put it on your projector i'll show you how to do that in one of the tutorials it's not hard yes then say so the moment you click it changes and you can see from the default obs screen this is what your obs would look like it would have this and this is a transparent part whereby because the rest of your the images you're showing would be here yeah so then come to lyrics you can add a song the local lyrics there are two more tabs here and web lyrics local lyrics i have a few songs here which i already added i'll be showing you how to add then web lyrics so for example if i choose one of the songs that we added it gets populated here and edit it I'll show you that shortly in another video. Click on that, and that's exactly what it shows. This is the default projector screen, and this is what it shows on OBS. Yeah, so let's go to web lyrics. Choose the song. The commonest song I use is the song 
a song called Ebo by <coughs> a lady called Ada. She's a famous African gospel artist. Once we submit that, it comes. These are the lyrics of that song. So in case you didn't, you can always find them here. And once I click the lyrics, get to the next. Yeah. So the lyrics i've gone to lyrics then there is history now each scripture that we click came to the history so that when the person goes back we don't have to go and look for it we just come to history and re-click it so that it can show up here yes now screens i have uh, one screen that i already made i'll be showing you how to make screens but it's as simple as add screen in another tutorial just check on this Come back to details since i recreated the screen i can minimize the default screen by clicking there and the simple screen i made it here it has three editable places yeah and uh, you could just go back to screens and copy its link when you click there you copy its link and go and paste in obvious and then come and manipulate things from here there's another tutorial for how to create links how to create screens in depth it's about 15 minutes yeah soon we shall be showing all the screens that you make here so that you can preview them they'll all be here just uh, i'll be implementing that in a few days not so long from now yeah so basically that is the getting started though. that is how to use this dashboard i think you now understand it then uh, i didn't show you how to sign in it's not hard there are some things at the menu here that is user profile sign out you can go to your profile you can go to the documentation of course home yeah so let's go to our profile for now our profile doesn't have much i'm called abraham okello and uh, this is my email address the one i signed in with the standard we use at our church here subscription status subscribe this is the thing is free everyone is having that subscription status of subscribe thank you very much we'll meet again